Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So today we're going to be talking about a Dark Power 13 850 watt titanium power supply. And it's an 80 plus titanium power supply. We're going to do a quick unboxing. I'm going to tell you why this is the power supply you should be buying for your system. Especially if you're going to run like a 40 series graphics card or even a 30 series. It has everything you're going to need. Let's have a look and let's find out why you might need this. Okay, so here it is. Here's the box at least. It's ATX 3.0 compliant for next gen graphics cards compatibility. The uh, titanium, so 80 plus titanium, is up to 95.4% efficient and virtually silent operation. So let's get it out and have a quick look. So it's packaged pretty good. Everything you're going to need to know is right here in your user manual. Okay, it's very well protected with a styrofoam, everything like that. Here's the nice thing I like about it. It's nicely packaged, it's fully modular, all right? And it fits in most systems. Now this is a little bigger than some I've had before. All right? We'll go over some of these, or most of them actually, and we'll get into that. But let's see what we have for cables and anything else. So in the box, Underneath here, let's see what we got. Okay, so it's like a shoe box. It's kind of protected that way. No problem. And then all your cables are inside. Pretty cool. So you got one great big box, which houses all your cables and your power supply itself, of course. Let's talk about some of the features now. Okay, so here's everything that comes to the box. You got, I use these cables just to prop this up so you can see these better. Uh, it comes with two CPU cables, so if you need two 8-pins, it's got you covered. They're labeled. Everything in here is labeled, even your hard drive. If you need a Molex, that's, it's labeled what it's for. Your SATA is labeled. Every cable here is labeled. You want to overclock? No problem. It's got you covered. Dark Power has an overclocking feature, okay, so this goes in. You plug this into your power supply, and it's going to do that for you. So. This is an ATX 3.0 power supply, full support for PCIe 5.0, graphics cards, and has more than, has a couple uh, of the 6 plus 2 pin connectors. Alright, so it's got you covered in all of that aspects. Uh, it's designed with the uh, frameless uh, Silent Wings fan, and of course it has the mesh. Alright, so you can see that there. Alright, again we're going to put that back so we can talk about what everything in here is. All right, so we're going to go about the overclocking key. So this overclocking key right here uh, switches between four 12-volt rails and one massive 12-volt rail. They give you the ability to switch on your own with using this. So when you're overclocking, you're not lacking for anything you need. All right, once that's plugged in, powered in, it's very easy to install. Slot this into your computer and your case. All right, it's got, all this is all done on here already for you, and then you're just going to plug that into the power supply. It's got a little connector there, all right? Can't, you can't really get it wrong, all right? That's what I like about it. It has one of the nicest screws for putting into your power supply I've ever seen, ever. Like, and of course with that Silent Wings fan, which is in there, uh, gives you silent operation. It has an active rectifier plus full bridge LLC tech to give you signal stability and extremely high efficiency. It's fully modular, so you can see here, everything's going to plug. If you don't need those cables, you don't plug them in. All right, so better cable management, and everything is just going to be better. All right, most of all, it comes with a manufacturer's 10-year warranty. Okay, and of course, because of its efficiency, including less power consumption, it's overall cooler and quieter. Even the standby drain is only below, it's below 0.1 watts. It has the integration of the 12 volt high power connector, which makes it a great choice for high end systems, 40 series, even if the 50 series come out. Okay, so 12 VH PWR, just been, it just stands for 12 volt high power. That's it, that's all it stands for. So since new GPUs can uh, exceed 375 watts power requirements, this will give you continuous power of four independent 12-volt rails, 
even if your graphics card demands excessive power for a short time, you're covered with this. It's especially ready for overclocking as the overclocking key, which as I mentioned, uh, gives you full control overclocking by manually switching between the default 12 volt rail and the alternative massive single rail operation. Inside this, you've got Japanese capacitors, 105 degrees it'll, oh, it, that it's covered for, which speaks to this high quality. Modular sleeve cables are up to 120 centimeters in length, which is 47.2441 inches, if anybody's interested, and will fit nearly all cases. If you don't need a cable, don't use it. Less cable collider. So we'll go over these real quick, show you what the cables are, and we'll finish off. So I've had one of these power supplies before, and I could not figure out where this went, how it worked, anything like that. When you do this, make sure your power supply is off. All right? You've got little divots on here, much like a fan, but do not plug this into a fan. You, you won't like the outcome. All right? That's it. And then this will be in your system. And then this is a switch to turn it on and off. Now, one of the things it does say, so I'm just going to mention this to you. Only press the overclocking key. All right? So basically, they're talking about this switch when the power supply is switched off. Okay, because you want to, what you're doing is switching between a single 12 volt rail and the four of them, all right? Or they multi as they refer to it, or a group in group. Okay, they, they refer to it as the overclocking key groups, the individual 12 volt rails to a single 12 volt rail. So it switches between one and the other. So you have to decide beforehand what you're doing. So put it in whatever you want, turn it on and you're good to go. All right, just keep that in mind. All right, I don't want anybody destroying their systems. Taking it out should be pretty straightforward. There's a little tab. You usually just push on that, and then it'll come out. So you can see you have your one for your PCIe 5.0. All right, see how this connector is different because of the 40 series and uh, plugs in here. So you'll need that if you're having the 40 series graphics skirts. If you don't have this on your power supply, well, you're going to have some issues. All right? You have your CPU, your graphics cards, motherboard, connectors, and your drives. That's all there is to it. You can peel this off. Let me just show you here. This will peel off. You can take it off. And that gives you your Dark Power 13. Looks pretty sweet, actually. And I believe this comes off, too. Let me just see. Yep. And you see the nice be quiet and it looks pretty slick and on this side we just have our on off switch all right of course where you plug in has all your specs everything on here and your fan and that's pretty much it all right so our cables they give you twist ties they give you other screws put your power supply to go in so we got twist ties, they even give you a whole bunch of stuff for your cable management to tie everything off. And like I say, we got all our cables, all right? We have our SATA cables, we even got Molex cables. You have more than enough for everything you're going to need. Don't know what more you can really ask for. Something else I just wanted to mention is if you want to have your warranty, make sure you go in and register your product. Keep your receipt. I suggest... Uh, have it electronically somewhere you can find it or maybe just stick it inside your pamphlet for your power supply keep it handy so if something happens you know, like I say it's got a 10-year manufacturer's warranty all right so that's it I hope you like it very quick short and sweet basics you have a 40 series graphics card or into the future you want a power supply that can handle all those needs this one can it comes in a thousand watt series as well so if you need bigger, well, you can get it. I've used their power supplies in several systems. I have not had one fail yet. Uh, I've only had one power failure in a, graphic, in a power supply. The power supply that failed on me was EVGA, and I don't even know why. Just, it happens. Uh, doesn't happen that often, but, you know, it's just one of those things that can happen. Um, but this... I have had no issues with multiple systems. At this point, I'm like one well over 50 systems that I've sold. Nobody has come to me 
with power supply that I put in it and said there was something wrong with it. So this is a product that was sent to me by Be Quiet, but hey, I bought my own as well. And I stand behind it because it's just such a great power supply. Sometimes you get the motherboards, you got eight and eight pin or eight and four. Well, this covers that. You want to overclock, this covers that. It's got, you even got the overclocking key, right? So don't worry about having enough cables. It's got plenty. It's got enough cables for everything you're going to want to do. So that's pretty much it. Short and sweet. If you like the video, hit that like. If you don't, well, leave me a comment. Or if you want to know something else about it, ask me. I'll certainly get back to you. Uh, if you're new here, think about subscribing. Uh, hit that bell for notifications for videos as they come up in the future. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care.